Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Jalen. Welcome to my world. So today I'm going to be doing a hair review for the hair that's in my head right now. Let me fix that. Uh. Um. It is from AliExpress and it is from the company called Queen Hair Products. Queen Hair Products is so notorious on YouTube and it's for a reason. Let me tell you, I've been rocking this hair for six months straight. I'm used to changing my hair like every month and I do want to put a disclaimer out there like y'all, I this is a wig. So I take it off every night and of course I wash and maintain my natural hair under here. But I have been wearing the hair for six months straight. I put it on my head every day and I rock it. I mean, as you can tell, it's gorgeous. Okay, so first things first, let me go ahead and tell you the specs of my hair that's in my head. I have in three bundles and a lace closure. I have in a 22 inch, 20 inch, 18 inch, and a 16 inch lace closure. And my hair type that's in my head right now, girl, is the Brazilian more wavy. Now, from what I have heard, this is the best hair type from Clean Hair Products. I don't know what it is about this one, but people say this one holds up a lot better and is a lot prettier than their traditional wavy, like their body wave, or their straight. I don't know what it is. I haven't really tried the other textures, but I can tell you that I do love this hair texture. Like I said, I do have it installed on a wig cap. I don't have any leave out. All my hair is braided back underneath this bad boy, and all I do is pin it down every morning before I go to work. I take it off at night, I never sleep in it, nothing like that. I love the hair overall, but I do want to go over a couple things, just, you know, pros and cons, things that I love and things that I don't like as much. I do want to get into some cons about the hair because there are some. Don't get it twisted, this hair is not perfect. <laughs> I want to talk about the curl pattern. My closure does not match my bundles. It just doesn't. Let me get a little closer so maybe you can see. This curl pattern is a little bit tighter than under here. This curl pattern. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry if you can't. <laughs> but I do want to let you know that I don't think they take the time to match your closure to your bundles. After I installed it, it wasn't a big deal to me. It's not like anybody's going to sit and stare at your hair and say, wow, her closure doesn't match. Like, if anything, they shouldn't be able to tell I got a closure in, period. You know, natural curls don't tend to be all exact anyway. Like, if you have naturally curly hair that actually grows out of your scalp, they're not all going to match. So, I guess I can't complain too much about it, but the closure does not match. Just, just FYI. Another con about the hair is it does not straighten well. If you want versatility in your hair, I don't suggest getting this hair texture from Queen Hair Products because I cannot straighten it. I have attempted to straighten it and I think I'm going to insert a picture somewhere, somewhere in this video, but I have straightened it on several occasions and I just can't get it to stay straight. I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's my technique, I mean I've straightened hair a couple times in my life, you know what I'm saying? It will straighten, but you'll get that kind of like, still kind of a little bit wavy kind of look. And that's not cute. I don't want to wear that out the house. I don't curl it. I don't straighten it. I haven't done anything like that. I just do my hair routine, which I'm going to show you guys in a couple clips. But I don't really straighten it out. It's, it's just not cute when you straighten it. I'll be real. The last con is the hair does shed. Let's keep it 100, guys. Curly hair sheds. <laughs> And I do want to clarify, it's not like it's just coming out in clumps in my hair. As you can see, my hair is still really full after six months of wear. It's more like it's more hairs than it was. Before, if I was brushing my hair out, it'd be like one to two strands. And now when I'm brushing my hair out, it's probably more like six to seven strands, which I still can't complain about because it's been six months. So now, let's get into the pros. The first pro is this hair lasts. I swear guys, I've been wearing this hair for six months. Six months and it still looks gorgeous. I've been wearing it for six months, so it's definitely been through a lot with me. I'm talking snow, rain, it went to the beach with me, it's been through hot weather, cold weather, everything. And it has lasted the whole time. If you want hair that lasts you, I suggest getting it from Queen's Hair Products. Even my closure is still laid, like what closure? The hair is amazing. It really has lasted me for six months. 
I don't think you can beat that. Another pro about the hair is it's so low maintenance, y'all. The fact that it's curly hair makes it so easy to manage. All you have to do is just brush out your curls, wet them down, put your products in, and leave. Like, that's what I need in my life. I work really early in the morning. I don't have time to be trying to look cute and do all that extra with my hair. I just plop on my wig and go, okay? Another pro about the hair is the price. It comes from AliExpress, so you already know it's going to be cheap. It has to be cheap. It's AliExpress. Thinking back, I think I paid about $2.25 for the hair, which is really not bad because I got 22 inches, which that's a pretty long length. And I got a closure included with it. Typically, closure is going to run you about $100 easy. So I feel like it's a really good bang for your book, for your coins, girl, for that money. And my final pro about the hair is it's not shrinking on me. You know, sometimes you get hair and it starts to shed. And you kind of feel like the hair keeps getting shorter and shorter as the months go on. Like, you look down at your hair and you're like, I could have swear I bought 22 inches, so... Why do I got a 14? It's awesome. The hair lasts. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you now the products that I use on my hair as well as my morning routine that I do with the hair when it needs a little pick me up. It's not hard at all and I feel like you can apply it to some other curly hair if you do have some. Let me show you the products that I use on the hair. I use the Organics Oil of Morocco line. It's really good for your extensions as well as your natural hair. So. Here is, what is this? <laughs> this is the conditioner, this is the shampoo, and I love using the two together. It replenishes your hair, it helps everything stay the way that it was when you first bought it. I also like to use this just to co-wash. Sometimes when I co-wash, I also like to use this bad boy, the Goat of Hair Products. This is Silicon Mix. If you don't know what silicon mix is, you need to, girl. If you wear hair extensions, you need silicon mix in your life. It brings all of the life back into your hair. You just treat it like a deep conditioner. Sometimes what I like to do is use the conditioner, and then I like to put the silicon mix with it, and I'll put it inside of a Walmart bag, and then I just let it sit for like, you know, as long as I can, maybe five to six hours, and then I come back, rinse it out, and the hair feels brand spanking new. I also like to use this. This is the penetrating oil from that same line. And it's really good argan oil. I use it on my hair and my natural hair and it just gives you the nice sheen without looking too greasy. The last thing that I use on the hair on the daily is this. This is the Cream of Nature Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. It's really good. Like after you wet your hair and brush it out, you just spray that on there. And then sometimes I like to go in with the oil on top and it just makes my curls pop. Now let me show you my curly hair routine really really quick. The first thing that I do is brush the hair out. You want to brush all the curls out of the hair. If you don't look like you have the biggest fro in America when you're doing this, you're doing it wrong. When you're brushing, always brush from the bottom and then you come to the top. That's the best way to get the naps out, you know what I'm saying? Next up, you want to go ahead and just spray your hair down. You don't want it to be dripping wet, you just want it to be damp because you're trying to leave the house in a hurry. You don't want your hair to be dripping all down the stairs when you head to work, like, that's not cute. Just spritz it to get the curls to pop back. Okay, so my hair is just, like, a little damp. It's not dripping wet, okay? After that, I take this, you just want to spray that in there too. I have no idea what's in it, but it smells amazing and it makes your curls pop. You just want to spritz that all around your hair. As you can see, the curls are already pretty much popping. I'm going to go ahead and add my final touch. This is the Argan Oil from the Organics line. You just want to put a little bit in your hand, probably about a dime size. Just run it through. I like to hit the ends because the ends can get a little bit dry on this hair. So I'm just going to go through, hit up both sides, fluff it up, and that's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. I post videos twice a week. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye. No hands were harmed in the process of making this video. Oh!
Okay, I'm out of lot. Hmm, they give you peanuts. Ooh. <laughs> it comes with this cute little card. I think they have a monthly subscription to where you get like three or four brushes a month or something. I don't know, I'm not here for this card. 